Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use cp command in Linux. cp command is used to copy files and directories in Linux. So let's see how we can use it. So just open your terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and let's see what are the options we have for cp command. So for giving cp command, you use cp and then options and then you can uh, write the source so you just need to uh, give the name of your uh, source and then the destination okay so cp and then comes the options for example minus i or minus v or uh, other options and then you give the name or location of your source file or directory and then you need to give the name of the destination where you want to copy the source right so let's get started first of all I will CD to my desktop and in here in the desktop you can already see that I have two directories and a file so for example I want to uh, copy a file into a new file so what I can do is I can just write cp and then I can uh, just write the name of my file one which I want to copy and then I want to copy uh, this file into a new file called uh, file2.txt which doesn't really exist. So what the cp command is going to do is if this file doesn't exist is going to create the new file and then copy the content of file one to file two. So let's see what happens when we give this command. So you can see the new file is created and the content of file one will be copied to file two. So let's scat for example file one first and you can see the content of it and then let's scat the content of uh, file two and you can see the same content right now let me clear the terminal now the second thing we can do here is uh, we can copy a file to a directory so for example i can just use cp and then i can uh, just write the name of the file and for example i want to copy it to a directory one which is empty right now so let me show you first of all before giving this command the content of the directory one so i will just use ls and then directory name right and press enter and it shows nothing that means directory is empty right so now i will do cp and then the name of the file for example i want to copy file one and then the name of the directory which is my destination where i want to save my file right and i will press enter and it's going to copy this file to directory one and let's do uh, ls directory one once again and you can see uh, file one is now existing inside directory one right so it has copied the file one into the directory one now for example i want to copy uh, file two also into the directory two what i can do is i can just write file one uh, which is already copied uh, if you want to uh, you know copy the multiple files you can just do it something like this so you can give the multiple sources here and then at the end you can give the name of the destination so this time i'm going to uh, give the directory two for example to copy to it so i will just press enter and then i will ls to directory two and you can see these two files are transferred to the directory two right now for example i want to uh, transfer these two files to directory one but we already know that file one is already existing inside the directory one and for example we don't want to overwrite the file one which is inside directory one so this command is going to overwrite uh, the file one because it's already existing in the you know directory one so to avoid the overwriting what you can do is you can uh, give this command or flag which is minus i which stands for interactive which ask before overwriting okay so when you press enter it says cp overwrite directory one 
file one dot text. So it it will ask you the question, and if you give y here, then it's going to overwrite your file one, and if you give n here, then it's going to not overwrite, right? So we are going to give n, so it's going to only copy file two, and it's not going to overwrite file one. Okay, so you can use i for uh, the interactive interface, right? Now, for example, uh, you can uh, you know give the absolute path here or the relative path, right? So, for example, I will uh, cd to my directory one here, and cd cd to the directory one, and let's do ls here. And for example, we want to give the cp command from here. So the file two and file one exist in the desktop, not the directory one. And right now we are in dir one directory. So we can just go one, you know, step back or one folder above by using these two two dots, as you already know. And uh, you can give the name of the file. For example, file one dot text. And then uh, once again dot dot, and then this time file two dot text, right? And then, for example, uh, you want to copy it in the current directory you are already in. You can use this dot to show or indicate that this is our current directory or destination is our current directory. So press enter, and it's going to copy these two files to the directory one, and we have not given minus i flag here so it will override these two files okay now this dot here means the current directory so when I, whenever you do ls minus a it's going to show you dot and then dot dot and then uh, file one and file two dot text so this dot means the current directory so if you give uh, this dot it means the current directory you can al also give this command something like uh, there one something like this but you are already in the directory right so you can give the absolute path of uh, the directory for example right so for example home and then uh, your uh, username and then uh, the desktop which you are in so you are in the desktop uh, directory here right and then uh, dir1 directory1 okay so you can give this kind of absolute path also or dot also or this kind of relative path also to copy your files. Now there is one more interesting thing I want to show here and first let me clear the terminal and for example I want to copy the directory 1 to a directory 3 which doesn't really exist. So what I can do here so i can do something like this cp and then dir1 uh, and let me go to the desktop first of all so i will just do cd dot dot so i will be in the desktop and then i will just do cp and then dir1 and then i will give the name of my directory which doesn't really exist which is directory 3 right and let's press enter and let's see what happens and it's going to give error and it says omitting directory dir1 and why it's doing this because this directory contains some files and then it's not able to copy this directory to directory 3 so in order to uh, copy a directory which contains a file or files you can uh, give this command which is minus capital R or small r uh, I think both are same but uh, mostly we use capital R which is for recursive copying right so press enter and then you can see dir3 is created and we can list out the content of uh, dir3 and you can see the content of directory 1 is transferred to directory 3 now you may ask why this directory 1 is not inside directory 3, right? Because uh, cp command, for example, when you use for files, it will transfer the file inside the directory 3, right? So whenever 
uh, you give some, a command something like this and if the destination doesn't exist then what is going to do is is going to transfer the content of the directory or source directory to the destination directory and create this directory first and then uh, transfer the content now once again when you give the same command if the directory already exists okay so once this directory already exists and you give the same command let's see what happens and uh, i'm going to just give i uh, not i but v uh, flag here for verbose and you already know what this means is and i'm going to press enter and you can see what happens here so what's happening here is it's transferring directory 1 to directory 3 and then it's try transferring the file inside the directory 1 to directory 3 and we are going to give the same command ls uh, directory 3 here and now you can see directory 3 is transferred inside the directory directory 1 is transferred inside the directory 3 right so if the file already exists it's going to you know copy this uh, directory 1 inside the direct directory 3 if file doesn't exist or directory doesn't exist then it's going to just copy the content of the source to the destination okay so this is how you can use a cp command and for more detail you have this command man cp for uh, seeing uh, you know all the options which you can use with the cp command and when you press q it's going to quit so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now